Good afternoon to you. Mark Suttoth, HurricaneTrack.com, here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for Wednesday now, the 24th of August, 2016. Quick look at the Eastern Pacific. Not to be ignored, we do have a couple of areas trying to develop. But the great news here is they're both going to head westward and away from the Mexican coastline, so no worries there at all. In the Atlantic Basin, Tropical Storm Gaston out here slowly accumulating a few ace points, accumulated cyclone energy, the measurement of how much energy is output from these systems, from their wind. And then we have 99L here still confounding pretty much all of us with its stubbornness to develop. I mean, if it's going to develop, go ahead and do so, so we can lock down better where it's going to go. Otherwise, you know, it's kind of like um, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all along those lines, right? If it's going to do something, do it. Otherwise, leave us alone. <laughs> so pretty much what it comes down to. So looking at the afternoon visible satellite animation, and I want to set the stage for what I'm going to talk about here. I want to show you the current setup and really not going to talk about the models very much because this is still, as you can see, a fairly elongated general area of low pressure. Yes, there's a fairly tight little swirl going on in here. But we also have this little bit of vorticity trying to interact with Hispaniola. That should pretty much take care of it, though, and make that dissipate. And then we have these sort of curved bands developing over here. So there are these conflicting signals. The upper level winds are still fairly strong across the system. I'll show you that more in just a moment. Uh, but overall, the structure slightly better organized, believe it or not, than yesterday, mainly because there is this fairly well-defined, vigorous, low-level swirl. It doesn't have enough thunderstorms wrapped around it to be considered a tropical depression textbook-wise, but it's getting there. It's trying to do so, and the more distance that it uh, creates between itself and these land masses here, moving off to the west-northwest, the better the chances that it could eventually go on to become a tropical storm. And of course, if it is named, it's called Hermine, not Hermione or whatever, or Herman. It's H-E-R-M-E-E. N is the pronunciation, Hermine. All right, so this is the vorticity signature of it at the moment. Kind of looks like a goldfish down there a little bit. And, you know, it's trying its best to get its act together, but it's going to take a little bit of time, it looks like, still. Nevertheless, it's better than the elongated look that it had yesterday. Yesterday, I say better, you, you know, I'm talking about meteorologically speaking only. It looks healthier. So, you know, got to... Be careful, you don't want to make it sound like we're rooting for hurricanes to hit. But if you're looking for development, this sort of round appearance to the eastern side of the vorticity signature is a sign of increasing health. The large-scale pattern showing the uh, upper-level winds, uh, the system is sitting right in here where they're not quite as favorable. If we zoom in, you can see that. Uh, if I draw an L where the general low-pressure area is right in here, yep, it's in that little red zone there. And unless it can get out over here where the upper level winds are lighter, it's going to continue to struggle. It does have warm sea surface temperatures going for it, that's for sure. Very warm upper ocean heat content throughout this region, so that's favorable. The Gulf of Mexico, if it gets into the Gulf like the Euro was showing the last few runs in this region, plenty of fuel available, but we just don't know what's going to happen. I'm, I wish that I knew myself. Believe me, I would tell you. Uh, so I'm pretty much just sticking to what we know right now, and we can let the models battle it out better once something develops, assuming that it does. So, you know, it's late August. You should be ready for hurricanes no matter what, and if this comes your way, maybe you're a little bit better prepared for it. Let that be a lesson learned from this so far. We'll certainly continue to watch it. You have a lot of powerful tools and different things you can access in Hurricane Pro in HD. And I'll continue to provide these video blogs to try to help dissect things as this evolves over the coming days. Again, I'm Mark Suttoth for HurricaneTrack.com. That's my website. Always an honor to be able to produce these videos for you. Hopefully you learn something. Even if I don't have much in the way of clarity, nobody does that I know of right now. So I just have to keep watching it together. And with that being said, I'll be back with you again tomorrow.